Okay, we talk a lot about getting the ball in the post with the DTX program. We, I'm a firm believer in feeding the post. I think it's the best way to play the game. You don't have to be a big man to be a great post player. We, you know, some of the best post players in NBA history were guards. You know, I think that you go back through time from the Kobe Bryants to the Michael Jordans to the Mark Jacksons. You've had a lot of great guards, Gary Payton, old school guys of a post up in the in the post, and they were point guards. So, I don't think this is limited just to big men. I, I love having guards post up. I love having mismatches. So we want everybody to work on the low post. And there's some things you have to do in order to be a great post player. And one of that things is patience. You have to be patient when you post up. I grew up playing in the post because I was taller. Uh, as I got older, I became more of a point guard, but that really allowed me to be more of a, of a post up point guard, which I watched, you know, my idol growing up was Magic Johnson. So I watched him post up all the time. So when you post up, I think one of the first things you want to be able to do is when you post up, you have to slow down. If the defender is behind you, which is what we're talking about here, obviously if they're fronting on the sides, you're going to drop step either way. But if they're behind you, you want a wide base. When the ball's thrown, you want to give a target, and then I would always catch and slow down. You slow down, you peek, you look for double teams. If they're not going to double you in the post, there's a reason for that. So I would always hold the ball here. Now, most coaches will tell you they will double on two different occasions, on the pass or on the dribble. So sometimes you'll catch it and they're not doubling you and you want to kind of hold the ball, you want to pass fake, but you want to peak middle. You want to see here. Once you put the ball on the floor, they might double you then because some of you will dribble and look down. When you look down, there comes a double, you're in trouble. So we always emphasize dribbling with that head up, peaking middle. You see a double, you kick the ball. Okay, that's what we do. A lot of times when I was in the post, I would fake that pass to see if the defender would go for it and then drop that. I don't need to do that if they're obviously not going to fall for it. But if they didn't double me, that was a sign of disrespect. It meant they didn't think they, they didn't fear me enough to double. So every time I catch, I peek middle. I do some ball fakes. I look. If I can back him down, I'm going to back him down. And then from here, you're going to go to a jump hook. Okay. Jump hook to me, most unstoppable shot in basketball. If you have a great jump hook, you are hard to beat. So Perry's gonna get in the post. He's gonna demonstrate, show me where he wants it. Peek, back it down, jump hook. Okay, do it again. Quickly get in the post. I'll bounce it to him. Peek, jump hook, score. Perry is a two guard. He's usually stronger than a lot of the two guards. You wanna try to get lower position in the block. Catch. Back him down if you can. Good. Now this time, back him down. Uh, shimmy shake, drop step, left hand, baseline button. Boom. Shimmy shake, don't travel, do it again. He leans to that jump hook. He leans, drop. Good. Now, I have another shot we like to do. It's a sky hook type of thing. We call it a swinging hook. He's going to swing to the middle. He's going to peek, back him and swing. This is what you would do if you are in the post and you are not bigger than the guy you're guarding. He's bigger, he's stronger, you can't back him down. Now you use athleticism and speed. And that's the athleticism and speed. You catch the ball, watch his feet, feet, he got speed, no help, jump swinging hook. So these are two moves that we like to use in the post. There's obviously some, you could spin to the baseline, you could do different things. So, Again, uh, this is some of the facts that we like to use in our DTX program. Get the ball in the post and abuse the, the mismatch.